Put your faith in the light. Hello guys, welcome to another one of my videos. This is Lightblade. Well guys, uh, I'm going to talk about some news that's a bit old because it happened on Tuesday and I didn't cover it early. But uh, there was a blue post that dropped on the 10.0.7 PTR on the rework of Red Palance. I'm going to talk about the four most important things that happened on that PTR because it was mostly just bug fixes, some change to some talents, like small changes. And that was pretty much it. So let's start with the video. Okay, so the biggest change was to Retribution Aura. Basically, they redesigned it, and now instead of giving you the buff for 10 seconds, uh, whenever someone takes more than 30% in one hit, it now gives you the buff for 30 seconds decaying over that period of time. So this means that the playstyle which you were going to be like Aura dancing and changing from Devotion Aura to Retribution Aura is basically dead. And this is a good thing because that was going to be really, really annoying for the Retribution Paladin that had to do it. The next big change is to the Vanguards of Justice talent. This talent was really underwhelming before because at the cost of one extra holy power it gave you an extra 20% extra damage on your holy power spender's ability and when you put two points in it you got uh, 40% you know, uh, for a holy power ability that costed five. That is going up to 33 for one extra holy power to 66 if you use five holy power on a, a spender. This is really huge because this is going to see play if we find a way to sustain the holy power cost of these spenders. Because if you think about it, 66% extra damage, that's basically putting two crusades on top of the uh, any holy power spender ability that we do. So keep a watch on this talent. It might be a surprise pick in future patches because of scaling. Okay, so the third biggest uh, change that we had in this blue post was the change to our mastery. So Blizzard is toying around with our mastery and uh, they say that physical damage is in a poor state for Retribution Palin since they are making a lot of our abilities do Radiant or Holy Strike damage which uh, scales with mastery. So uh, I'm thinking that, that this is just an unnecessary change because well physical damage has always been in a bad spot for Retribution Paladins. It's been like in Legion I remember it was like 90% magical, 10% physical, and BFA it was 95% magical, 5% physical, and Shadowlands it went back to 10% physical and 90% 90, 90 magical. And now in Dragonflight we have a bit more physical damage but I still think it's like 90-10, like the, the ratio. So I don't really think it's necessary to do this change and just I would just leave magic mastery alone. Physical damage has always been weak on the Retribution Paladin side, so I'm hoping like Bliss reverts this change because in uh, last build I had 48% mastery, now I have 37. So while this increases the value of other stats like crit, haste, and versatility, it lowers our value of our mastery, which was a big point of damage in the previous expansion. So I hope they do revert this, and they're saying they're just playing with the idea, so maybe they do. Okay, and the last part that we're going to talk about here, and I think the most important one, because this talent had a lot of, like, uh, it's a lot of missed opportunities, I think. Templar Strikes, this replaces Blessed Hammers. Uh, blessed Hammers was kind of useless, so it's good to, that we have this. It's a pretty interesting replacement. Crusader Strikes becomes part of a three-part combo and deals Radiant Damage. The Radiant Damage is nice because it can actually pair well with the Radiant Build with Burning Crusade and Searing Light to increase its damage. It also interacts with Blessed Champion. It makes each of the parts of the combo do AoE damage on those extra targets and deal reduced damage. Okay, so now what? why do I think it's like a bit of a missed opportunity? Yes, it generates a lot of holy power. It's a lot of holy power on demand. If you can see it like here, it's one holy power, two holy power, three holy power. So it, and the cooldown is almost back as soon as I finish the combo, which is really nice. It can actually mesh well with the build with Vanguards of Justice because it's a lot of holy power on demand, as I said. So five holy power cost spenders might be able to be sustainable with this talent because I think the holy power generation from Crusading Strikes is a bit slow to uh, sustain the five holy power build you know but that's not why it's a missed opportunity that's actually pretty good that it gives us a lot of holy power they could have made the combos a bit more like interesting you know for example if you play league of legends there's champions like aatrox or ribbon that do have similar combos you know whenever they use as, as a one ability they could have made it so like the first q uh, i mean the first a crusade stroke was just normal one the second one was a cone in front and the third one was like a thrust that you do like in a line 
and puts maybe like on the third one a small CC at the end, like a dis disorient of effect on that line that you do or something like that. I'm not, I, I don't want them to put a stun because there are so many stuns in the game that you can uh, you kind of DR mobs a lot, but a disorient effect is harder to uh, to like get that DR, you know. And if they do not want to put like any type of uh, extra damage, I mean, I mean extra. CC on the combos they could have made it so like whenever you use a combo the next let, let's say divine storm deals 10% damage then you use another one and the next ability does 10% extra damage and then you use the last one and it does another 10% so that way you we, we could like weave in between abilities to get extra extra power from the combos you know that's just my opinion it might have been like a more interesting way of doing it but still it's a pretty decent talent as it is you know it's not anything flashy but it's going to give you a lot of holy power on demand and well guys that's going to be all for the video today let me know down in the comments what do you think about my that that last idea i had like making the templar strikes a bit more interesting do you agree with it do you disagree with it do you have a better idea maybe let me know down in the comments below and well if you like my content it subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video thanks for watching everyone